Hello and thanks for coming back again to draw with me. Today is going to be our last daily drawing for a while so it's really nice to have you along with me. Today we're going to have a go at drawing some giraffes and we're going to draw our giraffes in continuous line. So each giraffe we draw will be one single line and today I'm going to be using a felt tip pen and I've chosen to use brown just to suit the colour of the giraffe a little bit but any pen or any pencil will be absolutely perfect for today's drawing. So we're going to really focus on the process of drawing today and think about how you can draw with one single line, perhaps looking at the image, stopping for a little moment, but keeping your pen or pencil on the paper and not worrying at all about making this look like a perfect giraffe and just having a little bit of fun taking that line around the paper and seeing how you might be able to draw with one single line. So draw along with me, but don't try and copy my drawings. Draw your own giraffes and your own lines, and I'd love to see how all of your little giraffes turn out at the end. So go and grab some paper and a pen or pencil or whatever you'd like to use today and your beverage of choice, and I'll see you in a moment. I've turned my paper landscape today because we're going to draw four giraffes and so there's a little bit more space for each one, although they might end up overlapping each other and that actually might be really nice. And we're going to draw in a continuous line, so one continuous line for each giraffe. So we'll probably spend around four or so minutes on each drawing and that's about enough time before you get a little bit tired and you need to take your pen off of the paper. So once your pen goes down onto the paper, then you don't remove it until you feel that your drawing is finished. That doesn't mean that you can't just stop or pause, um, take a look at the image a bit more and draw really quite slowly and carefully. So I'm going to start with this giraffe here and I'm thinking about starting down at the bottom and then taking my pen up and around and then back in. And of course there'll be places where the lines will all join together and we'll just see how it goes. So don't worry about it looking like a perfect giraffe. In fact, giraffes are quite strange looking things anyway, so have a little bit of fun with this continuous line. So I'm gonna start mine down at the bottom here. And I'm gonna draw quite slowly. And I'm gonna be looking over at the image quite often, so when I need to, I can pause to look over at the image. And I can go back over the lines that I've drawn before and I'm going to be drawing quite carefully and quite slowly today. I'm really focusing on my lines. But if you feel that you'd like to draw quite fast today, that's absolutely fine. You can put some shading in, so even though it's a continuous line drawing, you can still put in some tone. So you just draw at your own pace in the way that you want. And when you've finished your drawing, take your pen off the paper.
Okay, so my first drawing's done. And you can see that the lines kind of went a little faster as I got down to the pattern. So I was quite slow in drawing the head, but moved a little faster as I got into the patterns. So I quite enjoyed the lines and making those jigsaw puzzles. So I might do that again with the next one. So if you're still drawing, then of course just hit the pause button and then uh, when, when you finish, you can hit play again. And let's look at our next giraffe. So I'm going to pop him over to the side here. And as I said, they might end up overlapping specifically because I'm not looking at my pic at my drawing as much as I'm looking at the picture. So I'm almost drawing blind in, time in places as well. So they might end up overlapping or they might not. We'll see how it goes. So I'll put my pen down and then I'm going to start. So let's not worry at all about how giraffe-like this is. Let's just enjoy the interesting shapes that we might see. Like in the nose on this one. So whenever you finish yours, just stop and take a rest. And it takes quite a lot of concentration to keep your pen on the paper. Don't worry if you do lift it up, it's absolutely fine. No one will really mind at the end of the day. So I've got two quite wonky, quite funny looking giraffes here. So we'll give your arm a little rest for a moment and then we'll have a little look at the next one. I just couldn't quite resist this little face. So I'm going to pop this one here and then hopefully have a little bit of space for another one on the other side. But like I say, it doesn't matter if they overlap. So this one's going to be quite interesting because I really enjoyed putting all these shapes in. But with this one, there's less of the shapes, so there's a bit more to do with the face. 
So whenever you're ready, you just off you go and draw yours, one continuous line to create the whole drawing. And because I, my hand is covering over, I can't actually see the other side of my drawing and whether the eyes even line up. And it really doesn't matter. I have some interesting alien looking shape at the moment. Let's see where I go next. Maybe around to the nose and the mouth.
Well, I think I will leave my little wonky giraffe there. It's starting to look a bit more human than he is giraffe in some ways. Um, although also a little bit like an alien. But he's kind of fun. So if you want to, let's have a go at one more. And I think he's going to have to be quite small and he might just fit in around this one here. We shall see. So pen down. And I'll start, I think, with the face this time instead of the neck. I think I've not quite got enough space for my ear, but I'll just have a glimpse off the page. Because I've got a little less room for this one, I might have to just condition there. And there we have it. Four continuous line, wonky, funny, sort of giraffes. So how did your giraffes turn out? I hope you enjoyed it and I'd really love to see your drawings as always. So you can send them to me on Facebook, on Instagram or on Twitter at The City Workshop. All the details are below. So it's been really lovely to draw along with you over these last few weeks and I really hope you've enjoyed it. So please keep in touch with me on social media and hopefully you can come along and draw with me again in the future. So take care, look after yourself and each other and I'll see you soon. Thank you.